recently, it seems like everyone's been buzzing about Model Context Protocol or MCP, but what is it? And why does it matter to developers? Think of MCP like an API for LLMs, large language models, but with a twist. Imagine you have an AI assistant, Claude, GPT, Cursor, and your assistant can perform a variety of tasks like making music, drawing, that's supposed to be a pencil, and telling stories. That's supposed to be a book. In order to accomplish those tasks, it needs some tools. Uh, for making music, it might need a microphone. For storytelling, maybe a book. Anyways, it needs different tools for different functions. The problem is, however, that the assistant does not automatically know which tool to use for which function for each task. So we can create custom APIs to handle it. When it's time to make music, you can say, grab a microphone. Simple enough for small tasks, right? But as you scale, things can get complicated. You could probably use a pencil for both drawing and storytelling. So that gets complicated. If you grab a tool, it's like, what function was it for? And let's say you want to add another tool. Like for making music, you can add a drum set on top of a microphone. You can also add a guitar, maybe a camera to record it. Managing all these custom APIs starts to feel like juggling. And like that pen that dropped, that is not easy for an assistant or for me. That's where MCP model context protocol comes in. MCP simplifies this by acting as a universal API. It enables your AI models to access the right tools and data. So we have third party APIs and services and endpoints, no matter what the task is. And the best part is that it handles updates and changes automatically. So you don't need to manage everything manually. And it's like the assistant instantly knows what tool to grab, no matter the upgrade or the update or the change. So these are all on the internet. Okay. Let's take it a step further. There's more than just handling tools. MCP also manages how the assistant, like Claude, GPT cursor connects to different data sources. Sometimes the assistant will need to grab information from a local source, or other times it may need to reach out to a remote server. Let's say MCP server. MCP handles this complexity by managing both local and remote connections, ensuring that smooth data, ensuring there's smooth data access no matter where it is. So we connect our MCP client that connects to the server. Those go there. And this is end users device. Now, when it comes to connections, think of it like this. There's the client, the assistant, and then there's the host, the server, where all the data and resources live. MCP lets the client, your assistant, talk to the host without worrying about how the connection, the communication works behind the scenes. It acts as a bridge making sure the assistant can always get to what it needs without breaking a sweat. <sighs> Why should developers care about MCP? As you build more complex applications with AI, you'll need a solution that handles all of these changes, connections, and updates seamlessly. With MCP, you can focus on building and enhancing your AI tasks without constantly having to rework integrations and sweat or manage the technical details. So MCP isn't just an it's the system that keeps everything running in harmony, smoothly, from tools, connections, to updates. It's the key to making sure that your AI models and applications stay reliable as they grow and scale. I can't wait to see what you cook up with MCP using